Welcome ladies and gentlemen to another indie game. Yes, before you say anything, this is not horror. My channel specifically deals with horror games, but you know what? Sometimes I can buck the trend. And I'm going to do it for this one because when I saw the trailer for this drop a while back, I was hooked. Uh, this brings me back to the early days of Grand Theft Auto, the, t the top-down version, not the most recent ones. And uh, we're going to be playing as a rookie cop back in the early 80s. And we're going to be cleaning up the town. We're going to be treading the thin blue line as we uh, mop up the town with all of its nasty inhabitants. Um, let's begin. Oh, sexy saxophone. I'm already invested. I'm already in this world. Welcome to Averno City. It may look peaceful from here, but trust me, it's rotten to the bone. That's where we come in. Averno's finest. We swore an oath to protect this city. To look out for the citizens walking those streets below. There's bad guys, and there's good guys, and then there's us, all balancing on a knife edge, fighting each other just to survive. But it's a fight we're losing, and everybody knows it. We're understaffed, underpaid, and overworked. Worse than that, we got targets on our backs, and every low-life punk and thug thinks they can take aim. Heck, a few of us might even deserve those targets. Not all of Averno's finest are that fine. We got our fair share of rot, too. What good is an oath of honor if you've got no honor to betray? But me, I believe in the badge. That chunk of metal means something. And hey, some days the good guys come out on top. But most days, most days not so much. All the while, the fight rages on. The lucky ones get a flag and a plaque. The unlucky ones get a flag and a 21-gun salute. Why do we do it? Truth is, for some of us, it's all we know. But for others, it's in our blood. Corruption in the police force? Surely not. I like that. I like the intro. Um, seems like we're going to be dealing with some corrupt cops. And they remain beat. at large. Chandler, Sayers, you're covering downtown. Keep him peeled. These guys are no joke. You got a bus. All right, I know you're dying to get out there. Can't wait. But before you all charge into the blue, I want to introduce you to our newest tender lamb fresh out of the academy. Bah! Where's Bo Peep when you need her? Yeah, I could tell you where she was last night. This officer graduated from the academy at the top of his class. Yeah, that and 50 cents will get you a cup of coffee. And Nick Cordell Jr. What? No way. Will obviously have some big shoes to fill. Jesus, what the... Seriously? They assigned him here? Kowalski, if I may, I don't have to tell anyone in here about the late Chief Cordell. His stellar record, the respect you had for him, his untimely death. I especially don't have to tell Recruit Officer Cordell who's lived with it every day of the last five years. But there is one thing I do want to remind you of. Every single one of you took an oath to protect this city, its residents, and your fellow brothers in blue. That's what matters. I don't care what your last name is, who your daddy was, or who you hang out with on your day off. Our worth comes from what we do, not who we know. I want you to welcome Officer Cordell, but I'm not asking you to take it easy on him. On it or hard on him. He's a cop. Just like you, just like me. We're the ones out there making the hard choices. And those choices are what make us who we are. And Cordell, you're gonna have to learn the streets and the precinct the same way these mooks did. Are we clear? Yes, sir. Crystal, sir. Absolutely, sir. Thank you, officers. Watch, Commander. Appreciate it, Chief. Sergeant Kelly? Yeah, boss? The Rook's with you. I pulled the last one. Why do you think I'm giving you this one? Because I did something in a past life? <laughs> you did something? <laughs> I'll alert the media. Uh. All right, squad. Let's get out there and make Averno City proud. Yes, ma'am. 
Time to pound pavement. Come on, Rook. Let's go for a drive. Right. Here we go. So, it appears that our father was like the chief of the police. Uh, I guess we better earn our paychecks. Oh. Was it Kelly, was it? Let's talk to you. Want to talk? Hey, come here. Talk to me. All right, let's get out into the city. Let's start our shift. Beat at some bad guys. Welcome to the ACPD, kid. Time for our first mission, sustenance. But, uh, you can drive. My hip's been acting up lately. Oh, and uh, don't worry about the fellas. They like to act tough, but that's just because they don't have my natural good looks and winning personality. Okay, okay. So let's see. Oh, sorry. Stop and frisk. Oh, I see. Right, I can't do that just yet. Oh, we've got a gun. Can we shoot people? Do not shoot. I mean, I had to try it out, right? I had to try it out. Okay. <laughs> right, let's get in the car. Let's see how she handles. Uh, pa -pa 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 -pum. Okay, sounds good. Let's roll. Uh, I bet you learn all kinds of fancy driving at the academy, but for now, let's just take it slow and steady. Don't want to scratch the paint job on your first day. Ooh. Swing by the hot dog stand in Chinatown. There's a parking bay there. Okay, the car handles like a refrigerator. That's okay. Got to get to the hot dog stand. Good job, rookie. Time for some chow. Yeah, I'm getting the impression that Kelly isn't one of those kind of beat cops that likes to do his job. Just likes to eat and, uh... Ah, tube steak. Breakfast of champions. How'd you take yours, kid? Ah, the works. Just catch up. Everything but the dog. Uh, I'm a simple guy with simple pleasures. I just want the ketchup. Just ketchup. Clean and simple, huh? I like that. What's the damage, Fareed? Leo, my friend. For you, no charge. Fareed, you old softy. You earn that tip every time, don't you? Ah, breathe it in, kid. Best part of the day. Besides, you can't patrol on an empty stomach. You know, your old man liked his dogs, too. Ah, of course you do. We came up through the academy together. Took different paths when we got on the force, though. He wasn't gonna let anything get in his way. And me, well, let's just say, water finds its level, and my level is, uh, easy mode. Right. Okay. Central dual units, oh. bank robbery in progress. Armed robbery. Mercer ACB Bank on Mercer Street, shots fired. Ah, Christ on a crutch. Another beautiful moment ruined. Oh, well. That's what they're paying us for, right? Central, this is Unit 84, responding code 3. 10484, be advised, suspects are heavily armed. Approach with caution. Okay, kid. You wanted the real deal? This is it. Okay, done eating my hot dog. So, I'm wondering then, my father's obviously passed away. We don't know in the game how he died, but I'm assuming there's going to be some kind of... Uh, internal affairs type scenario going on. We're going to have to find out who killed our father. That's what I'm thinking so far. When responding to an emergency, activate your lights and siren. This will alert other vehicles to your presence and they will clear a path for you. Oh, I like that. This is what it's all about. Oh, we got to get there within a minute. All right. Who cared about the lamppost? I'm wondering as well if we're going to get deducted for, like, hurting civilians or crashing into cars or anything like that. I guess it's just a tutorial, so... Whoa! It's going to be quite lenient on me for now. This is how we roll. This is how I roll now. Um, combat controls. Right, we need to enter cover. Yep. Yeah. Okay. Now remember, they get one warning. If they don't throw them down, we take them down. Get ready. Police! Freeze! Drop your weapons! Well... Morons. Doesn't look like they're gonna give us a choice. Oh. Take
One less bad guy. Received. This is Bree Bookman in the ACTV Eye in the Sky, the number one news chopper in Averno City. We're downtown where police are engaged in a fierce shootout following yet another bank robbery. It's not clear yet whether this is the notorious August gang or... Uh, hold on, there's movement at the back uh -oh. of the building. More criminals coming out, they're boarding a vehicle. It's a dark van and it... Oh my goodness, keep it tuned to ACTV, folks. Looks like we're in for a police pursuit. Hell we are, yeah. Let's go, Close come on, Kelly. Gap, boot. Follow that vehicle. We're chasing them, we're chasing them. Support tokens are earned by performing competently, e.g. staying close to a suspect in pursuit. When you have earned enough tokens, request support. Okay. We're taking down these guys. So what do we have here? Um, we want a spike trap, yeah. Let's get this van. Spike trap work? Let's get the cruiser back up. Shooting while driving. If a suspect vehicle is endangering lives, you are authorized to use lethal force. Aha. Uh -huh. Oh, looks like the spike trap works. Surrendered. Always give suspects an opportunity to surrender peacefully by issuing a voice order. When their resistance meter is fully depleted, they will surrender. Ah, okay, that's interesting. So is that the They've ditched the vehicle? Hey. Hey, you 84 to Central. We got a 1015. Pursuit has been terminated. You did good, kid. I like this. Not everyone handles a pursuit like that on their first day. You need to put them in the vehicle. Ah, I see. You got this, kid? Yeah. Get in there, you goddamn... Money's just coming out of your bag. Oh. oh I didn't want to do that. Let's get out of here. In you go. Mind your head. Seems like I'm stuck now. Uh-oh. I can't seem to move. Oh dear. I think I might have just glitched it out. <laughs> oh dear. Let's restart that. Hang on. Let's see if I can get, get out of this. Jump! Get out of here! Come on! No, he's stuck. He, he's he's yeah, he's glitched out. Okay, let's let's do that again. I thought it was going to start me back at the um, back at the chase, but apparently not. Go to the evidence room, and where would that be? Is this evidence here? Ah, I see. Mean Gene, what's today's major malfunction? Oh, the usual misfiled evidence, sloppy dockets, illegible handwriting, contaminated evidence. I'm surprised some of your friends here made it out of grade school. Goodell, meet Eugene, our evidence guy. Eugene Papadopoulos, at your service. Did Kelly try the old "you drive my hip hurts" routine on you yet? Yes, he did. Hey, <laughs> thought so. He doesn't tend to lift a finger unless there's a gun drawn or a chance he might get pizza. Anyway, my job is to know where everything is, which basically means tracking down whatever you humps, misfile, mislabel, or otherwise misplace. Uh, we do our best. Oh, I'm well aware of this unit's, uh, limitations. Anyway, when you collect any evidence, you come see me. I'll make sure it's safe. You're a peach, Gene. Never change. Wasn't planning on it. All right, kid. You did good today. But that won't mean a fart in a windstorm tomorrow. I'm out of here. I'll see you in the morning. Unless I die in my sleep. God, that sounds pretty good, doesn't it?
I think uh, Kelly's seen too much of the world, you know, he's a bit jaded. Okay, and uh, end our shift at the desk. So our first day on the job, we um, killed a few people, and uh, we were involved in a police chase. What will day two bring? Morning, Cordell. Tidy work yesterday. Keep that up and you'll be leaving Kelly in the dust before he even has time to retire. Love you too, Kowalski. I know we dropped you right into the thick of it on your first day, but fundamentals are important too. What she means to say is that parking tickets are how the city pays the bills. Come on, Kelly, you know that isn't true. This city hasn't paid its bills in years. Regardless, today is going to be about old-fashioned police work. You're going to walk a beat and maybe straighten out a little bit of this bent old city. All right, then. Check your handbook for the violations to look out for. Handbook, eh? Okay. Oh. Oh, dear. Traffic collision. No force. Check ID. Talk to both drivers. This, this sounds pretty detailed, actually. I like this. Um, ask drivers to exit. Wow. So, infractions, you've got crimes, policing, pursuit, interactions, breathalyzer, check ID, escorting, issuing fines. It seems quite, quite detailed. Um, yeah. All right. Leave the precinct. Let's go clean up the streets. Can we interact with any of our... You've got cable yet. It's 1983. Did they have cable back then? Don't know. There are six types of parking violation. Obstructing a fire hydrant, opposite the flow of traffic, too close to a crossing, on the sidewalk. Sidewalk? In a no parking zone or parking meter expired. All right. We're following you, Kelly. Let's go find some parking violations. Not getting the car. There are six different parking violations to look for. Blocking a hydrant, parking in the opposite direction of traffic, too close to a crossing or on the sidewalk, Oh, and of course, parking in the no parking zone. Oh, and don't forget expired parking meters. Just be sure a vehicle is parked illegally before issuing a ticket. Oh. You can't take it back. Got one here. Ah, Fire hydrant. One. Yep. Can you see what parking violation this bozo is committing? Yes. Good job. The handbook shows all the violation types. People are allowed to use parking bays until the meter expires. Oh. When you inspect the meter, zero minutes remaining means it has expired. Okay. It's worth checking the meters at bays that are in use. There's a lot of people who don't like to pay their dues these days. No, nope, they're okay. Hey, it's expired. Is it expired? It is indeed. Give him a ticket. Hey, you're getting the hang of this ticketing. You'll come across different crimes as you walk your beat. Mm -hmm. You could be issuing parking tickets one minute, then chasing an armed thug the next. My advice, be prepared for anything. I am. I'm prepared for everything. Will you look at this? Write them up. Yeah, he's on the sidewalk. You're a natural. Let's carry on. I wonder how the XP system is going to work. Do I get like got better upgrades? Do I get ahead, better Richard. driving skills? Control 1039 uh, in progress. Each crime you deal will be assigned a level of authorized force, which must not be exceeded. No force, restraining force, non-lethal force, or lethal force. Uh, what do we got? We can taser him. That's non-lethal, right? Hey. hey, you. Take it easy. Issue the fine, and let's get out of here. Just for graffiti, eh? We've got check ID, but they're all grayed out at the moment. Um, vandalism. So, we're going to give you a fine. Excellent. That handbook will help you stick to the rules. We should check for any more spray can bandits nearby. Oh, we can go up. Okay. Graffiti is uh -oh. a type of vandalism. I don't want to go the whole way up. only warrants a fine. Picasso there surrendered as soon as he saw us. 
so we didn't need to arrest him. That said, some criminals like to try their luck. They might throw a few punches, or they might take off. Both of those are arrestable offenses. Even if the initial crime only warrants a fine, once a perp commits an arrestable crime, you gotta make the arrest. We've got another graffiti van over one. here. You know what to do. Take Break it easy. And bandits in action. Oh. Stop resisting. Stop resisting. Get your baton out, partner. We have a graffiti vandalism down here. Received. Hold it. Hey, you. You're out of options, dirt wide. All right, so the more you just shout at them, their resilience goes down. Interesting. You used your baton to defend yourself. That's fair enough. But next time, see if you can restrain him instead. Um, well, that's an arrestable offense, right? Because he assaulted me. Call an yeah. escort unit to take our suspect to the precinct. Ah. Nice. Arrested suspects must be escorted to the precinct and be processed at the front desk. You may either escort them yourself or call for an escort. So what, we have to wait here for the car to come? What are we doing, Kelly? No, nope, we're just leaving him here? He could just run away! Where's, where's our escort? Let's walk back to the station, all right. but keep our eyes peeled. I mean, he could just run away now, but alright. Oh, there they are. I can hear them in the background. Deal with this, Mope, and then we'll call it a day. Hey. Suspects may be resistant. Um, <clears throat> suspects may offer resistance, indicated by a blue meter above their head. Right, so we have to get this down to zero. I see. Right. Get after so. it. Take it easy. Hey, you. Wait there. Take it easy. He's running. He's rabbiting. Hey. Ah, oh, there we go. Might as well escort this brain box ourselves. Conveniently by the station. We have to process him, huh? We have to book him in. Book him, Dano. Where's the uh, front desk here? There it is. Okay. Chad White's been arrest vandalism. Red rights? No. Oh. Was I he didn't give me the option to do that. Nah, he's processed anyway. Feel good. Night shift now, are we? Report to the chief's office. Uh oh, am I in trouble? That kind of sounds like I'm in trouble. In any case, we're going to need to keep this quiet, even mm. here in the shop. This is not for general consumption. Got it. Ah, Cordell, come in. I want you to meet Detectives Lee and Ferreira, our top investigators working the organized crime beat. Heard about your baptism by fire at the bank the other day. Yeah, log 200 more like that and you'll be a real Averno cop. I don't know, look at him. I think he's got it in his bones. It's good to meet you, Cordell. Your pop was one of my heroes. That'll be all, gentlemen. So, Cordell, it seems your work at the bank the other day turned up a promising lead. Hmm. We discovered a print on a dropped weapon. It matched someone who wasn't even at the scene. Intriguing. A Mr. Michael McKenzie. Rich guy. Lives in a mansion on the north side. Tactical paid him a visit a few minutes ago, but it seems he was tipped off. As soon as they breached, he sped off out the back. We're scrambling an aerial unit to track the vehicle now. Excuse me, sir. Bird is fueled, ready for wheels up in two. Martinez, this is Officer Cordell. He'll be with you on this operation. A rookie, sir? Is this the right time for- It's the right time for you to obey orders, Flight Officer. Yes, sir. 
See you up top, Cordell. We gotta move. I authorized you on this mission because I was impressed by your performance at the bank, Cordell. Don't make me regret this decision. Now get up there. Looks like we'll be taking the Whirly Bird out for a... Oh, the synthesizer to start it. I'm coming, Martinez. Where's our suspect? Let's go find him. Trap set up. Units in pursuit. Stinger is deployed. Take out the wheels. I need that light on the target. Oh, collision. Get another car in here. Oof! Wow! Oh, come on! Suspect vehicle identified in Fenwick North Bay. We can't get the right van. Spike strip is ready. Steady. Get some more cars. They are speeding up. Suspect vehicle was last seen in Fenwick Intersection 3. Target that vehicle. Calling ground support to catch these guys. Acknowledged backup on route. Suspect vehicle identified on Fenwick Intersection 4. Oh, the tires are blowing. He's got to be done now. He's got to be done. Come on. Calling ground support. 10 more units on their way. Keep that spotlight on the suspect. Suspect vehicle was last seen on Mercer Pot 12 to Central Area. Oh, well, and there you go. Stopped very abruptly, but um, yeah, that was the precinct. I'm really looking forward to this when it comes out. Yeah, I wonder how each shift is going to work. Um, is there going to be like a time allocation to each day? Do we Are we meant to get a certain number of arrests or, or will the game progress with regards to, you know, like we went out with Kelly to issue some parking violations and then the next day we were involved in like, you know, a helicopter chase. Um, this looks really promising. Um, I'm liking the aesthetic. I'm liking the sound design. The music is, you know, has that synthesized 80s vibe going on with it. There's a lot of characters as well. Um, I suspect there's going to be an overarching storyline about our father and how he died and if there's corrupt policemen involved. Um, but yeah, uh, I just thought I'd showcase this one because um, I really enjoyed it. It brought me back to the it brought it brought the memories flooding back of uh, way back in yesteryear, Grand Theft Auto, the top-down version 
There are rules that we have to follow. I mean, as I saw in the, in the as you saw in the video there, I kind of the first thing I did was shoot someone, and it was an instant game over. So I wonder as well if there'll be a, a kind of morality system where you know will we be able to kind of take bribes? Will we be able to do things that will kind of lead us down a dark side? Um, that would be interesting. Uh, and the XP system as well. I'm assuming we're going to be unlocking new equipment, new weapons. Um, I'm kind of hoping that the... Because those those cars, man, they handled like a hippo. Drunk hippo uh, roaming around the land. So, yeah. I thought I'd just bring this to your attention if you haven't seen it already. Um, the demo is available now. You can play it for yourself. Um, let me know your comments below, uh, like or dislike the video, and if you've stuck around um, to the end of this, I appreciate it. I thank you very much. And if you haven't, please sub, because it means the world to me. I'll see you in the next one. Stay ghoulish. Bye.